Hi. There have been a lot of postings on the internet about the Aurora, Colorado shootings. It seems to me that there are a lot of unanswered questions, such as why he tipped the police off to the booby traps in his apartment, how he kicked in a steel door that only opens out, and whether he is under the influence of drugs or some kind of Manchurian candidate brainwashing. But some are now asking whether or not the photos of James Holmes in the past and the James Holmes we see in the courtroom depict the same person. Initially, I was suspicious about this, so I set out to prove that they weren't. In the process, however, I've convinced myself that this really is the same person in all three photos. What I've done is to take three photos that are currently online, and I've resized them and repositioned them so that the irises of the eyes of each photo line up and are the same size. The idea is that regardless of our weight or age, certain measurements remain fairly constant. The size of our eyeballs and the distance between them and the distance from the bridge of the nose to the tip of our chin. So we have a photo allegedly from five or six years ago, a photo from high school, and we have his mugshot. Placement of the nose and the eyebrows, the width of the face, and the position of the ears will change somewhat due to different angles from which each photo was taken. And it would help if all three photos were taken from the same height and his head wasn't turned slightly in any of them but that would make it too easy. The key features to watch are the distance between the two eyes, the distance between the eyes and tip of the nose, the distance of the mouth to both the eyes and tip of the chin, and the position of the Adam's apple in relation to the eyes and chin. After sizing and positioning the three shots, I compared each layer to each other layer. You can see that even though the eyebrows changed position because of the facial expression, as do the lips and the tip of the nose. The key metrics, which are the width and size of the eyes, the distance from the bridge of, of the nose to the chin, and to the Adam's apple, are almost all identical in each shot. The ears don't match exactly, but being farther back on the head, their position can change dramatically in relationship to the eyes by changing the height of the camera, and the same goes for the top of his head in the high school picture. So, even though I started out trying to prove that they weren't, I do think that this is the same person in each shot. So, if you agree or disagree, please leave me a comment below. And don't forget to click like if you like it. Thanks for watching. And let's hope that this tragedy, or tragedy like it, never occurs again. Thank you.